Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we're doing an espresso coffee cup in between for the lower belly. So we are going to do a quick class with a lot of elongation and fluidity and at the end of the class we're going to focus on really targeted lower belly work for which you will need a block and although we are finishing the um, somatics classes we're going to take some of that somatic experience somatic connection somatic approach into the upcoming core program i'm starting a core program today's class is going to be an intro or um, a bridge to that program and we're going to work on the lower belly something that pretty much everybody can strengthen in, in, in a very um, connected way. So we're not just creating brute force and just uh, trying to move through muscular exercises, but we're really creating focused, profound strength. And before we begin, this class is sponsored by Sensate. It is a cool little pebble-sized device that is toning for the vagus nerve. Do you ever feel knots in your stomach when stressed? That's the vagus nerve in action. The vagus nerve is responsible for the way your body reacts to stress. So toning this important nerve can help play an important role in improving your digestion, heart health, and breathing rate. The Sensate system uses age-old wisdom paired with state-of-the-art technology for a safe and soothing way to tap into the body's real command center, the central nervous system. It is a smart touch therapy device it emits precisely engineered sound waves directly into the body, sending a powerful stress alleviating signal directly to your autonomic nervous system. Pair Sensate with their meticulously composed soundscapes via headphones and feel the benefit from the very first use. Sensate uses bone conduction through the chest cavity to gently downregulate stress responses using sound. With Sensate on your chest, the comforting hum taps into your ancient instinct of safety and relaxation. Tune out the noise, tune into you. For more information, you can check out my links. And let's remember to flow with love, strength, and ease. Starting at the front of the mat, roll the shoulders back and let them drop down. Open the palms of the hands forward, lift the chin and bring energy here into the chin area or the under, under um, the chin area so that you bring um, awareness and um, tone here by bringing energy. Oftentimes the muscles become weak here so we want to just fill that area with conscious connection. If you hear a lot of purring and murring and meowing and bird sounds, that's mommy the cat. She's breastfeeding the babies not too far from me and she's extremely vocal. She has a lot of sounds. So that's what you're hearing. Lift to the crown of the head. Deepen the breath and feel the breath flow like a river through you. You can even imagine all the um, circulatory system as the rivers of the earth. Now it's stone river, those are beautiful mystical uh, formations. I've been stuck on many of them when I, in my hiking years, um, but they have quite the presence. So within the rivers and within the contemplation of stone rivers, we're going to also find our connection to the earth, stones, it's the earth element and also the strength within the crystals. Deep inhalations. And let's reach over the head, lift. Arch. Exhale, dive. Shake your head. Yes and no, left and right. 
and you can move here side to side letting the blood flow to your face Inhale, look ahead of you. And let's step in plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Here you're gonna place your knees down and round the back and draw back. And arch forward and draw back wave like arching and pushing back and moving like a wave fluid engage your core engage the breath We're going to take the toes under and going to down dog. Let's do a little more here, wave like, round the back, move forward, and knees down, arch and move, move back, down dog, rounding forward. A few of those. Sink, drop in your body, and down dog, inhale the right leg up, step it through, high lunge, Here you're going to step onto the right leg at the front and extending the tailbone, connecting with the lower belly. We're going to bring the knee up and down. So I want a lot of um, connection here. If it helps you to glue yourself back to a wall, you can also do that so that you know that you're really lining yourself straight here and you're going to lift and lower. It's challenging to maintain focused four and five. Excellent. From here, exhale, vinyasa. Down dog. Inhale the left leg up. High lunge. Step at the front and again, try to keep yourself in one line. You can step and bring yourself back to a wall so that it, it gives you feedback of your alignment and lift total control here. Goodness. It's a powerful move here. Three, four, five, and vinyas. Downward facing dog. Breathe. Deep ujjayi breath. Look under one shoulder, under the other. Let's take the right hand to the left. Ankle change. 
Take the right leg up, step it through, warrior two. Straighten, straighten the leg, reach ahead of you and lower down into triangle. You can wrap your right hand around and lengthen here. Coming out of it, you're going to reach with the left hand forward, connect the core, right hand forward, come up and wave back. So you're going to move from the center back and really feel your core, your oblique, spread the toes open, connect with the feet. And one more triangle. Bring both hands down, take the right leg up, chaturanga with one leg up. And down dog. Take the left leg up, warrior two. Feel the warrior. Feel your core, feel your supple strength, awakening, coming to life. And we're going to go into triangle, straightening the legs, reach your head and wrap the right hand back and around. Reach forward with the right hand and the left, really engaging, and you're gonna wave from the center, backward. <sighs> Mommy's talking to the babies. <sighs> she talks the whole time she breastfeeds them, so there's a lot of talking. <sighs> and one more triangle. Really feel it. Going to the places that invite you. And lower down. Left leg up. Chaturanga with one leg. And up dog. Chaturanga. Down dog. Inhale the right leg up, step it through. Warrior two. Straighten, and here we're gonna reach back towards the back of the room, and again, triangle one more time. Power up the core, reach back. Triangle, power up the core, reach back, triangle. You can reach towards the front of the room, elongation here. Bend the bottom knee, side angle. Bring both hands down. You take the right leg up, one leg, chaturanga. And up dog, down dog. Take the left leg up, warrior two. Straighten and reach back with a lot of connectivity, connection, a lot of Everything firing up when we reach, we're not just willy-nilly kind of reaching, but we're really feeling the movement, especially through the core. And you can go into triangle. And again, fire up the core, reach a lot of obliques too, 
and of course the core is the connection between the lower and the upper triangle one more triangle And you can bend the left knee here, side angle. And one legged chaturanga. Up dog, child's pose. Down dog. Inhale the right leg up. Warrior two. Here we're gonna lift the right heel of the floor and straighten the leg, reach back. Drop the back, the front heel down. Try and go one more time. Great elongation here, lower down, side angle, elongate. Here we're going to transition into side plank on the right side. Hold it. And let's grab the big toe on the left side, lift and face the floor, lower down with the leg opening on the side. Great. Plank. Chaturanga. Up dog to child's pose. <sighs> Down dog. Take the left leg up. Step it through uh, and warrior two. Taking the heel off the floor and Straighten and reach back. Lots of connection again. And triangle. Side angle. And place your hand down. Side plank, left hand down, hold it. Get ready to grab your toes. And here we're going to turn towards the floor, glide the foot. Out and lower down. Inner thigh stretch. Great. Child's pose. Coming up on all fours, we are going to take the toes under and hop into um, yogic squat. Breathe.
here it's time to do a little bit of intervals i'm gonna shorten the classes which means some of them will have a little intensity or more intensity roll back tap the floor and plow with your toes squat jump squat jump back jump forward roll back squat jump squat jump back jump forward plow squat back forth roll roll a few more roll last one and back to yogic squat last yesterday i shot um neptune jupiter conjunction which will probably go before this one and I feel sore from it, but I get sore if I don't eat immediately, which I didn't. So it could be that. For me, if I do a strong class, I have to eat right away, which prevents soreness. All right, now we're gonna go into a little bit of core interval, lay down, and place your block underneath or elevation underneath your tailbone. You can do length um, width wise. And let's extend the left leg, bend the right knee. Here you have a little bit of elongation, elevation, a little bit of uh, a lift. You're going to really connect again, go back into your somatic, somatics approach, somatic training, as, as much or as little you, you did from those classes, go back to that and you're going to engage, lift, bring the knee in, release, one, two, this will transform your lower abs. So don't think it's too easy. It's only easy if you're moving through the emotions. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, opposite side, one, two, really connect, three, this is your opportunity to fire up, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. This is joy, joy, the joy of movement. Tap into that feeling of experience you connect or that energy you get from a stone river. Now it could be from any other natural formation it's just this is the title of this class 
especially if you have experience with stone rivers. <sighs> Again, right leg bent, left, left knee at 90 degrees, 90 at the hip, 90 at the knee. And we're gonna dip. And here you're gonna peel off of the block and lift, lower down, dip, peel off, lift, two, dip with control, three, four, engage the body two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, excellent, opposite side. I think most of you have enough control here, um, uh, but if you feel that you could practice on the side, you could do the heel gliding after the class to just really, really connect in a very precise, simple way to this move. And that's more of a homework. If you feel that you need it, if you feel that you don't feel the entire move, parts of it, etc., or in other apps, you don't connect enough. The heel glides are perfect. That was, that's also in my postpartum classes. All right. Uh, 90, 90, 90 degree angle or so on the right side and we're gonna toe deep with connection, uh, with full connection. So you're gonna touch, 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 see, feel, also awaken with touch. And you're gonna lift one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And release. Extend both legs now, and we're going to take the left leg up and touch up, or bring your hands towards the foot, lower down just a few inches off the floor, not all the way. Lift, that engages um, the mid belly. See? Four, do it with control. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and opposite side, 10. Let's go. One, really feel it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and Ten. All right, bicycles. <sighs> Bring your elbows down and we're going to have both legs essentially of the floor now. Feel free to touch the floor if you, if you need to, if it helps you stay more connected because you don't want to let go of the abs and just flap the legs around. Also, you don't want to overuse the hip flexors. We have uh, very strong hip flexors because and short because walking involves hip flexors most movement involves hip flexors sitting shortens them so we essentially don't necessarily need to work on that in class 
So use your core for this one. One, two. If you need to tap, tap because I do connect really well when I tap as well. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take a break, reassess. Let's go at it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Oh. <sighs> Great. Here we're going to reach forward, kind of like a crunch. One. And and uh, actually, let's. All right. So let's start slow. Five of reach forward. One. Two. Three, four, five. Really control here, feeling it. All right, now shift your weight onto the right leg, extend the left leg one, and as you lower down, lift the body. Two, lift. Three, you can help with the elbows or not. Four, last one, five, and change. One, Two, three, four, and five. Great. Take the block out. Take your legs up, and we're going to uh, bring the hands by the legs and to uh, lift lift the body with um, bringing the the hips to the right and left. So one center. Two, left, center. Right, left. Right, left. Feel it. Right, left, right, left. One more on each side. One, two, and roll into flow. Jump up. Roll, jump. One. Two finishing with with the cardio. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and yogic squat. One last time, yogic squat. Let's wrap around. Left, sit down, forward fold. Fold the right leg in, forward fold. Now you can do that massage, inner massage with the heel. Change. Great, keep that heel. Um, reverse plank. Sit down, change, reverse plank, and a twist. Bring your hands behind your twist, change, 
and lower down. This was a bit of a quick class, so just let go here. The more we practice yoga, the easier we can tap into that nothingness, that space of emptiness, which is the pre-creation nothingness, or that's the, that's the ultimate nirvana, the ultimate oneness. Stay here for a few moments, allowing yourself to be nothing. And remember to flow with love, strength and ease. Namaste.